Throughout the history of artificial intelligence, we've seen many a classical board game have an impact, be it chess, Go, even checkers. But to really help push the state of the art, sometimes we need to introduce a little bit of chaos. Building AI for a game such as chess or checker is made easier by the fact it is predictable. We know how all the pieces can move and the player is the only one that can influence their destination. But this problem becomes so much harder if we introduce a little bit of chaos. In backgammon, this chaos is achieved courtesy of the two dice used for taking turns. And this is where backgammon becomes an interesting story in the evolution of AI. Dice are useful in games because they are random. We don't know what the outcome is going to be before we start the roll. Meaning, we cannot know what our actions are going to be until we roll the dice. This makes it very difficult to apply algorithms such as minimax because there is no guarantee that any of these actions are going to happen. The real breakthrough in backgammon AI players came courtesy of reinforcement learning. These algorithms build their intelligence through experience by trying out different actions within the games millions of times and learning what could lead to victory or doom to failure. By developing a richer understanding of the ramification of each possible action and not just knowing which action would lead to winning. In 1992, Gerald Tessero developed the groundbreaking backgammon player TD Gammon while based at IBM. It is called TD Gammon because it uses an artificial neural network that is trained using reinforcement learning technique called temporal difference learning. The neural network is trained to become an evaluation function, which means that it can look at all the possible moves on the board after the dice roll and determine which moves will lead to the high score and eventually victory. TD Gammon approach of training a neural network to learn a game by itself is effectively the first step towards the current trend of deep reinforcement learning. Only a trend on a fraction of the computational power and we've made some big improvement on the learning process along the way. Well, I'm pretty sure this sets the record for most costume changes we've had in one episode. I mean, the current record was zero, but anyway. The important thing is that with this boost in computational power, we're continuing to see new and exciting applications of AI for games. There's plenty of opportunities still to explore, so stick around here at Model AI to find out what the future has in store. Moment. <laughs>